All right, guys, we got it hooked up. Let's see. We got a P1000 onboard diagnostic. Don't even worry about that one. That is nothing. That's a non MIL code. So your check engine light will not come on for that. Thumbs down on that. All right, let's scroll down. Number two. All right, here we go. PO443 evap evaporative emission system purge control valve circuit. That's a problem. Circuit. And that is an MIL. So. Here we go, guys. Let's go diagnose this code. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Let's get right to it. Number one, here's your EVAP canister purge valve. This is the number one thing people go out there and replace because they feel that's the problem. And no, that's not the problem. Now, if you had a Mercury Marquis or anything, th those cars, the EVAP canister purge valve is located down by the fender. I mean, down by the um, the frame of the vehicle where a lot of weather gets to it and it does mess it up. So, so then those are it. But this one up here, away from everything, these are cool. All right. This one's been replaced. And if we go to the back of the car, she also had replaced the uh, canister itself. Everything back there is brand new also. All right, so let's find out what this problem is. The first thing you want to do is reach over here and unplug your canister purge valve. It's going to be a little tab right here on the top. Squeeze that little tab down and unplug it. All right, there we go. Yeah, buddy. Oh, wait, no, that's right. That's right. Somebody made it. Yeah, buddy. All right, the next thing we're going to do, we got to check voltage at the yellow. I mean... The red wire with a white tracer. I say yellow. I say it's a white. It's yellow. That's white right there. Okay. Red with a yellow tracer. You know, Sylvia's going to get enough of correcting me. Nope. All right. No, I won't. So let's get our, we're going to get our power probe. Now, you can get a power probe or a test light, but I'd rather you not do that because I need you to check voltage. I need you to, or, or get a, a, a multimeter or something. I need you to read the voltage. The power probe, I'm going to be using the power probe 3, and it's going to have a voltage reading on it. All right? We'll be right back. All right, guys. We had the battery was dead, so we had to hook up a jumper um, jumper cables to it. Okay, what I got here is the power probe, power probe 3, because the power probe 3 actually will show voltage right here. Like, for instance, watch when I, watch what happens when I touch this positive terminal. 12 volts. All right? If you don't have that, you're going to definitely need to use your multimeter. All right, so what we're going to do is go over here to the canister purge valve. Make sure we got enough wire here. And what we're going to do is disconnect the connector again. I showed you before how to do that. Push the tab in and unplug it. And then we're going to cut the key on. All right, now we're looking for voltage. At the red with yellow tracer wire, we got 11.7, which is great. So we know we got our voltage. Now let's cut the key off. And check that same wire because we definitely don't want power going to this when we're not supposed to. And we go to check it. Zero, nothing. All right. Now the other wire is a ground, but you're only going to get ground when the computer controls it. On the computer sends a signal, grounds that out, which activates that purge valve. So let's move on to the next step because right now we know we got power. Let's move on to the next step. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Our next step, we got power right there. The next step we need to do, disconnect it, and now we're going to check the resistance of the canister purge valve itself. Now this is a brand new purge valve but I want to do this test just to show you how to do it now inside of this purge valve inside of the connector there's gonna be two pins in there which that's gonna take you know what I'm gonna do yeah yep okay those two terminals right there we're gonna we got our old meter right here we're using the snap on vantage and what this does is going to check the resistance of it. Now, if I put this together, right this, like there, it goes down to one. That means this thing is completely together right now. So, what we're going to be looking for is a reading between 30 and 38. 
And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take my two connectors so it makes it easier for me and I'm gonna put one pin on one side and then the other one on the other side Okay, so that way it makes it easier for me. All right, so what I'm gonna do, take one test lead to one side and the other one to the other. Does it matter which is which? Now, it doesn't matter which one is which, but if you wanna go to the, like the, follow the wiring harness, like if this was connected, the one on the right side, that's the red wire with the yellow tracer, that's the hot. So if you want, you don't have to, definitely don't have to when you're doing an ohms test. We're gonna put one here and one here. And we should be looking at 30 to 38. What are we looking at? One. We're looking at one. That means this, this purge valve is shorted inside. It is completely shorted. Now I'm gonna show you. How do we know there's nothing wrong with your tester? Nothing wrong with my tester. <laughs> All right, that's a good question. How do you know if your tester is good? All right, so let's disconnect this right here. And what we got here is a different kind of purge valve. The purge valve always going to be the same when you're ohming them out. And you can tell they pretty much look the same except for that one has the back diaphragm on it. And this one has two ports, vacuum ports, where that one has one. So what we're going to do is plug this one up. Plug our test leads up into there. All right, and get this plugged up. You definitely don't want to have your fingers touching anything. You want to make sure that metal is by itself. No interference. 33. Okay, 33. So, within range, 30 to 38. This one is good. 33, let's go back and check that one again. Okay, one. Two, you want to make sure things are on. All right, let's get one right here. And one right there. All right. One. One. One hundred percent guarantee this valve is shorted out.